any job shop still needs to maintain their tolerance, needs to maintain their production rate. Now the beauty of these is they're very quick and they're very efficient. So the more efficient you can make the machine, the better the job shop. If we can go from utilizing three electrodes down to two electrodes, the job shop just made more profit and that's what we do. We make sure that every time you use a machine, you get the utmost performance out of the machine. John, it's always brilliant to come to NCMT, um, not just to meet you guys, but to see some of these machines in action, which, which this sync machine is. Yes. Um, tell us what, what you're doing in here and explain what this machine is. Uh, we're just doing a fast burn. It's an EDAF3 with heat generator, uh, which means uh, the generator itself is designed around tuning the, the uh, not just the ampage, but the energy contained within the spark. Uh, most people think EDM is about throwing amps at jobs. Makino go down the route of utilizing ampage, but also duration, which gives us a better energy draw. Now in doing that, it means we go quicker, we have less electrode wear, and if you put those two together, you get the correct job every time. And that's incredibly important in EDM. It's no point just being fast if you're not accurate. Okay. Makino is accurate, it's as simple as that. Okay, because we, we all know Makino for yes. five axis machining and, uh, and their machining centers, horizontals being Ex extremely precise and that's that's born out here too in the EDM. Exactly, it's throughout the EDM range whether you're buying a, a die sink, a wire machine, EDM drill, everything is about precision. It's the, the, the be all and end all of Makino. Okay, machine is available here from stock isn't yes, it? it? Which is yeah. one of the things that, that, that that's great in the market at the moment because the, the supply chain has been affected hugely and people can't get kits. It but is but we've got this you here. know NCMT they look at it okay what's the future throughput of machines and there's constantly machines on the wards to come out so we've got these machines arriving for stock and also in stock. Okay what's it actually capable of on a whole I mean you know let's have a look at things like the, the rise and fall tank and things like yeah, that okay. explain some of the other features that will be okay of this machine has got what's called a fixed tank um, we don't do anything entry level at Makino. You know, they're all built around performance and precision. So the tank is fixed, it's rise and fall submersion. The axis movement is taken up on the back of the machine, which means it's center mass. So there's no chance of any inaccuracy in the machine as well. Um, the build quality of the machine, you know, it's quite a small footprint, but dry this machine weighs in at just under five ton. Our competitors coming around about 2.7 to 2.8 ton. That in itself goes to say, okay, we've got a bit of quality here. Things like direct drive motors, uh, N-built linear encoders, no belt drives. The uh, linear ball screws are 30% quicker than anything else on the market. So we're driving with a much better ball screw as well. And who, what, who wants them? Who wants one of these? Where, um, where, where do you everybody. put them? I talk about job shops, but is that... Oh, is anything it... from uh, precision mold tools, aerospace, medical. It's a machine that's designed to do any job. And that's the beauty. It's not, um, okay, we've got this specific machine for a job, this will cover anything you want. And the beauty of the hyper eye control twinned with the heat, it means we can bring in several types of technology. So you're not just doing a rib burn, you can bring in super spark, you can bring in a hyper cut, which if for example, you're doing a rib on a mold tool, it can increase your, re your removal rate by around about 60% while reducing your wear rate on the electro by 90%. Now, any tool maker that says I don't want to go 60% quicker with 90% less wear in my electrode, you know. It doesn't happen, does it? It doesn't happen. That's exactly what they're after with exactly. this technology. Exactly, it's about speed, it's about precision. We did some cuts on this last week, we were holding three micron. Is, is there no compromise anywhere though? No, no compromise on wear parts, no compromise on, no. on, on... Don't believe in compromise. No compromise at all? There's no compromise, it's built for performance. You know, it's as simple as that. It's built to do its job. Rather than saying, okay, uh, we need a machine to hit a market level. We build machines to hit a market performance. And that's what Makino did. It's about performance of the machine. There are no compromises on the Makino. And that control is extremely easy to use. I've seen it. It's very simple. All of your EDM machines, the life of this control started with the on spark. Yeah, it exactly. started on a die sink. Um, the spark on a die sink is the hardest type of spark to control because you've got so many variances in it. You've got electrode wear, you've got contamination. You're not using a brand new electrode all the time, like on a wire machine. So if you can perfect a control and a generator that will drive a die sink, it will drive anything. It's as simple as that. And the hybrid control itself, it's generic throughout the range. Whether you have a BX3 EDM drill, precision EDM drill, 
an EDAF up to an EDNC21, which is twin headed machine, twin generator, twin controls, 2.5 meter bed. It will machine two parts of the components at the same time. It's the same control right through to the full range of wire machines. It's the same control. You learn one, you learn them all. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, John. Get yourself here to NCMT if you're interested in any EDM technology. But more importantly, as mentioned, this machine plus others are available here from stock. Um, talk to John, you could be the proud owner of a, uh, a Makino sinking machine.